Hi, welcome to this video on operating systems and file management. This is a segment in a course on digital literacy. And this is an important part of digital literacy because a lot of times people don't think about their operating systems. And really what it is, it's the backbone of your device. So it organizes and runs your stuff, um, helps you to find it and use your applications and files in ways that if the operating system wasn't there, it would just be a pile of junk and you wouldn't be able to interact with it in any way. So examples that you may have heard of are Windows, uh, Mac, iOS for mobile iPads and uh, iPhones, and then Android. Those are the most common ones. There's others too. Um, but really understanding them can help you to be more efficient and effective in the way you use these devices in your um, education work. Um, and we're going to focus on three things. How to find things more quickly, how to move them more quickly and name them, um, and, and manage them in different ways. So um, here we go. So I'm going to be focusing on the operating system of Windows 7. Some of you may be using Windows 8 or uh, Mac OS. Um, we'll have other resources to help you um, in the course, but I think Windows 7 is the system that most teachers are using at this time. So we're going to start with how to find stuff on your computer. You'll notice I'm at my desktop, so I have a bunch of different files and folders and shortcuts. Um, and I see a lot of people spend a lot of time finding things. If you go to this little start button or hit the Windows key on your keyboard, one of the quickest ways to find something is to just start typing in the search field what you want. So if I wanted Microsoft Word, I could type that and you'll see here I could just hit enter and open that up. If I wanted something that I don't see like the snipping tool, I start typing snip and look it's there. I don't even have to move my mouse, I can just hit enter and that program will open up for me. So rather than spending time going here, uh, searching all programs and finding it, um, I can have it just with one click of my keyboard type the word, hit enter, boom. Save several seconds. But also, and I think more importantly, you can search for files. I see people spend many, many minutes looking for files and sometimes never finding them. So if I search PBL, I know I have a bunch of stuff. Here's my video on PBL, but here's my folder. Yep, okay, sweet. I can look in there and be able to find whatever it is I'm looking for. Um, so as long as you know your keyword and a little bit about how it's titled, um, you should be able to find it pretty easily. Now let's talk about moving stuff. When you have your file directory open, which to open that you can either click the file icon down here if you have it, or if you hit the Windows key and E, it will open up your file directory for you. So moving them, moving things, let's say you wanted to uh, move this folder to your desktop. You could just click it and drag it wherever you want to go when you drop it. Um, it's already there. If it's already there, it'll ask you if you want to replace it. So you could say yes or no. In this case, no, because I've already done that. But I could also move it to um, different spots on my computer or to different folders. So I can move this and wherever it highlights, I want to move that into a different folder, then I could drop it there. So this might be pretty basic for you. You can create new folders and name them and then move files into there or you can change your view based on these different options. If you like large icons you can choose that or um, whatever works out for you. So important to be able to move them um, where you want them to be so you can find them and organize them um, and also to rename them. If you right click on stuff, right clicking is something that a lot of people don't do and there's a lot of options available. So depending on what kind of applications you have, you could convert something to a PDF, you could open it with a different program, you could send it to a different location, you could copy it and then paste it somewhere else. There we go. Or you can highlight it and uh, rename it like this or you can right click and rename it in case it's a file like ZX9719. -er. So in this case I'm just going to delete it and then say see you later. Alright, so other parts of your operating system that are kind of hidden, if you right click anywhere on your desktop, these options down here can be very useful when trying to pro 
project or connect to a projector or something else, if you click the screen resolution, this is where you can um, see where your monitor is, connect to a projector, make things bigger or smaller. There's a lot of settings that you can utilize. So when you go to this screen, you can actually click back and go to your control panel. And here's where a lot of the back end stuff can be found and where you can make changes that suit you and your so that is it for this short little overview of how you can utilize your operating system and understand it. Um, you will be asked to identify some of these things um, that you've seen and pick out what you think can help you be more efficient and more effective in your work. Um, so hopefully you found some stuff that will help and uh, thanks for listening.